Slow down. That is the message coming from a collection of state GOP leaders surrounding Governor Hochul's electric school bus mandate. It requires new school bus purchases to be zero emissions by 2027 and then all school buses in operation to be fully electric by the year 2035. In December, Governor Hochul announced that the release they would release $100 million for electric school buses and charging infrastructure. It's part of the state's school bus incentive program. But now two months later, there is a growing call to pump the brakes. Joining me live tonight is one of those voices, Republican State Senator George Borrello, who is sponsoring legislation to rescind the mandate and replace it with a state funded pilot program. Senator, we appreciate you taking some time. I know you had an event uh, in Albany today, kind of gathering support. Um, I know we could talk about this for an hour, but briefly, what are some of the concerns you have with the way things are headed now? Well, the main concern is we really don't know what's going to happen when, when with this conversion. First and foremost, uh, these electric school buses are incredibly expensive. Uh, a standard school bus is about $150,000. The electric are $400,000 to $450,000. They only have a range of about 100 miles, and that's on a beautiful 70-degree day, let alone on a, on a, a uh, snowy western New York day. Uh, and uh, the cost is going to be borne by our school districts and, and our property taxpayers because uh, there are 800 school districts in New York State and about 50,000 school buses. So that's $20 billion just for the buses themselves, not even including the electrical infrastructure, which will be several you know, billion more most likely. So this is just a short-sighted, a ridiculous virtue signaling uh, by my friends on the other side of the aisle and the governor, which in the end is going to cost us dearly and probably put our children at risk. These these school buses are essentially still, I would say, in the experimental stage at, at very best. We don't know what's going to happen. So my, my legislation calls for a pilot program in a city, suburban, and rural areas so we can figure out exactly what will happen with these electric school buses in, in our throughout our state. NYSERDA has said that by the year 2027, um, the school buses are expected to reach parity in terms of the, the diesel powered buses we have now and the electric school buses because of battery technology advancing. Um, do you disagree with NYSERDA on that? And what would you say to those who believe, you know, climate change is a is an existential crisis and, and this is a good way to, you know, invest in the future? Well, first of all, New York State only accounts for about 0.4% of greenhouse gas emissions worldwide. So doing all this isn't going to put a dent in climate change. This is not uh, the solution, number one. Number two, I don't truly believe that there will be parity. When the government mandates something, it never gets better, more efficient, and cheaper. In fact, uh, what I'm hearing from the industry is that there will be basically a supply and demand uh, issue here, which will drive prices up, not down. As far as battery technology goes, we are still a long way away. Uh, once again, the, most of these batteries are made uh, in China uh, and other places overseas. We have no uh, infrastructure here in the United States to actually make something that we can be assured will be safe and reliable. So uh, the, the government, the, both the state and federal government, have done literally nothing to ensure that this is going to be successful and have not put in nearly enough money behind this uh, mandate. So I, I have no confidence uh, that this is going to become affordable and certainly reliable, which is the biggest issue. Um, I have less than a minute left, Senator. Um, you know the political realities in Albany, right? Your party is in the minority in, in both chambers. We have a Democratic governor as well. Um, do you foresee any type of support for your bill on the other side of the aisle? Well, first and foremost, I will tell you that uh, there are people from both sides of the aisle that have showed grave concerns on this. I am hearing this. This is the number one concern from school superintendents, from school board members, uh, and they are starting to realize that this, this is going to be a potential catastrophe. Uh, so I would hope there would be some support to restore some common sense and pump the brakes on this so we can figure out, at the very least, a responsible and safe way to do this. State Senator George Borrello represents uh, the southern tier portion of Western New York. Uh, thanks for coming on, sir. I know you had a busy day uh, with the event in Albany. We appreciate you talking to us about this. Thank you, Michael.